hello friends today i am going to show you one real time task what we do for every three months so like one of our client will provide like uh, 50 to 100 bak files the sql server backup files so we need to restore those files into production uh, sorry in the test server okay so so that uh, we can we came to know how much time it will take to restore so this we have to do we have so much uh, so many dr activities okay so this is one of the low level uh, dr activity that we do for every three months so first of all uh, just copy this location where the bak files are ho uh, hosted and make sure all these versions are related to the one version only otherwise if you make uh, if you have different kind of versions just separate it uh, version wise okay you just copy that so open your ssms and uh, connect to any sql server instance just replace your this path here okay and click execute so you will get all the scripts exactly how it could be then you just go here and make sure there are no databases like anything this is like development instance what are the configuration that my production server is having this test server is also having the same configuration so once you copy that and go to new query and paste it here and I click execute done so uh, one of the database of both us done okay adventure was also done ranking was also done you just come down here and quickly refresh that is done okay now close this window uh, come to this query and click execute so we got this info select this all copy with headers sorry copy with headers go to excel sheet and paste it here and uh, just sizes so that uh, you get clarity on that copy this and go to your here so uh, this is how we used to do okay now come here now use destination style so if you want to color anything color blob letter this is thing so and uh, you can increase the size as well so that uh, it will differentiate right yeah and make this all these capital letters so so that whenever the client look uh, looks about this email it will be look some right it will create some nice impression right and that's it so so ranking database backup file was 4 mb and it was started at 225 and it was completed and there is no within which is i mean it has done within within no time right so it is 220 uh, file size and it was started and the time difference so so that uh, it will clear and uh, you just kindly uh, uh, i mean kindly check and let us know if any issues and your signature your signature thanks and regards uh, take support and there is some word okay so this is how you need you can take restore the multiple BAK files in SQL server okay so this script the the video what I have shown to you I have I may mean, I have shown you like in SQL server 2022 so if you want to do in the lower versions okay first you need to observe this code okay now where you need to direct from I have taken all this information from restore history okay I mean to say like I will show you one thing here so I am taking all this information from restore header only so one thing in SQL Server 2022 we have these many additional files these many additional URLs but in the lower version 
we don't have any these files so due to this reason it may get fail because of invalid column length some so on so error so if you want to uh, uh, like if you are doing any lower versions anything check these columns are exist or not what are the columns that are not existed though in those version and uh, you can remove those version and you can execute the script so i am going to provide this script in the description box okay uh, in the go uh, i mean to say like in the google drive what we generally used to share so you can download from that and have a nice day okay if you have anything let me know and we will look into that um, bye bye